In the rare disease world these days, there's a lot of talk about real-world evidence. That's because there's a world of data we can capture and access today with advances in information technology that might help provide new insight into rare diseases and how to diagnose and treat them. For drug developers, it can help with treatment strategies and determining appropriate endpoints for clinical studies. For clinicians, it can provide evidence for making decisions about the best course of treatment for someone with a rare disease. For regulators, it can provide evidence that a drug is safe and effective. And for payers, it can tell whether a drug provides enough benefit to justify its price. The use of real-world data isn't new. The FDA has long used it to monitor safety and adverse events after drugs have been approved. But in 2016, Congress passed the 21st Century Cures Act, which instructed the FDA to increase its use of real-world evidence to support regulatory decision-making. So what is real-world data? Well, Congress said it's pretty much any data about the benefits or risk of a drug drawn from sources other than traditional clinical trials. The FDA is a little clearer about the sources of real-world data. They include things like electronic health records, claims and billing activities, product and disease registries, patient-generated data, and data gathered from other sources that can inform on health status, such as mobile health devices. But why do you get these two terms, real-world evidence and real-world data? Well, real-world evidence comes from analysis of real-world data. It takes these points of information in the aggregate and determines what they actually show. As the ability to harness real-world data becomes easier through advances in technology, it promises to help address a data gap in rare disease drug development that can slow or limit patient access to transformative therapies. Nevertheless, the availability of real-world data within most rare diseases remains inadequate. In part, that's because for most rare diseases, no one's bothered to gather the data at all. When it does exist, the owners of that data may not be willing to share it with others. Patients are motivated to gather and share this data, but patient organizations often lack the infrastructure and expertise needed to build robust data sets that can meet the demands of regulators. By supporting patient organizations with a robust data sciences platform, technological innovation, and operational capabilities they may lack, RareX can be an accessible and sustainable platform that will expand the understanding of rare diseases, improve diagnosis, and speed development of needed therapies. To find out what RareX can do for you, go to rarex.org.